right, here's our uh, second uh, walkthrough <laughs> inspection, I guess, uh, on the fuselage. This is, uh, what we're going to take a look at is where we are after 12 and a half hours of uh, construction. Uh, you wouldn't think it would take that long, but it, and it probably shouldn't, but, but I work pretty slow and uh, kind of uh, methodical about things. I, I mentioned in the other uh, video that uh, F1 here was, was canted or tilted backward just slightly, about a sixteenth of an inch. So uh, I set this square on it, clamped it to the building board, and uh, clamped it up here to um, uh, F1. So let's just see what happens when we, rele when we release it. Yeah, it, uh, it stayed right in place, so that's good. There are, there are 24 stringers in this, uh, in this fuselage, 12 that are uh, 1 8 inch thick basswood, and uh, 12 that are quarter inch thick balsa. They don't, the balsa ones don't go all the way back. All they are there for, well, they add some strength, but they are there to uh, pin the pr uh, the planking. And uh, we'll get to that uh, a little bit later. I just wanted to show you how this all worked. Uh, here is, um, here's the uh, quarter inch balsa. And as it goes back, you have to make some cuts uh, where the uh, hard point is. Uh, I didn't do a very good job there, but but that's okay. It'll all work out. Um, probably see a little bit better how, well, maybe not. I was going to say how F2 angles um, uh, to the right and to down one and a half degrees. It turned out great. Um, actually, I'm very happy with the way this this uh, has has come together. This area in here is all glued up and it's got the notches and so forth, but it is cut away when the um, when the cockpit opening is cut. That's done after it's planked. But uh, so, well, it needs to be glued. It isn't particularly uh, critical. And uh, let's just take a view down here from the other end. Um, not all of the stringers go all the way through. This, the, from here to here, will be filled in with balsa. I probably should have done that before I did this, but uh, nevertheless. But uh, looks pretty good. You sort of get an idea how it's uh, how the shape is coming together. I like the lines of it a lot. And uh, when you get the veneer on, it's just uh, can be really stunning. So. So there, that's where we are, 12 and a half hours.